What's going on, YouTube family? You already, <clears throat> you already know who it is, man. It's your boy, man. Country boy, trucker, man. Straight out of 229. Y'all already know what. Uh, Y'all know what. Uh, Y'all know what. Uh, don't get tired. Yes, sir. Hey, y'all already know I'm back at it like a crack at it like I always say. No disrespect to either one of you cracks at it. You did. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, uh, what's going on, y'all? What's going on? I know it's been a minute since I post, and I do apologize, y'all. I know y'all be getting on my case like, CBT, man, look here, man. You post like twice a month. <laughs> I do apologize, y'all. Uh, but I be so busy. Hold on, y'all. Let me turn this off. I'm watching fishing. You know, I, I love those of you who didn't know. You know, I don't know. I am country by truck. All right? I'm from the country. I am from the backwoods, but I don't live in the backwoods no more. Thank God. You know, I have moved up in life, you know, but I. One of my hobbies that I do a lot when I go home is fish, all right? Every chance I get, I go fishing. And I can watch fishing all day. I love watching bass tournaments and stuff like that. I love fishing, for those who didn't know. All right, I am a fish fanatic, all right? So, comment down below if you like to fish and what type of fish you like to catch, all right? Mine is crappies. Crappies and catfish, all right? I'm just not starting to get into the bass fishing, all right? But mainly, you know, I do uh, uh, crappies and uh, bluegill and catfish. So I'm just not working my way up to get into bass fishing, all right? Uh, so and, and later on down the line, I'm gonna get into this saltwater fishing, all right? So I'm trying to go down to Florida and get, get on that saltwater, you know what I'm saying? You know, but um, that is something I like to do when I'm at home. You know, me and family or whatever, we go fishing. All right, just like when I went home, we went to um, uh, down to the Tallahassee. We drove with Tallahassee on a little day trip. You know, down to Tallahassee with a bad pro shop because we don't have nothing in my area. We don't have no bad pro shop in my area. None of that. So we had to go to like Tallahassee, down there with the closest, isn't there like an hour and a half away. So, you know, it, it is a good little trip to get out from the city, you know, and, you know, hey. So, but, um, but, you know, my wife get mad at me because I go down there because I spend a lot of money. I, I spend a lot of money when I go to Bad Pro Shop. All right? I just buy stuff for stuff for no reason. All right? But anyway. So, we back, y'all. We back in the show. We, we back off home time. I left out, um, yes, no, Monday night. All right? Well, I didn't actually start driving until 2, well, let's say early 2 in the morning. About 4 o'clock in the morning. I left Cardio, and they uh, deadheaded me. I was from Cardio, Georgia. All right, now this deadhead, not loaded, but deadhead, all the way from Cardio, Georgia, all the way to Clovis, New Mexico, which is where I'm at now. I am currently in Clovis, New Mexico right now. All right, and I got here today about uh, 11, 11 30, 12 o'clock. All right. So I got up here this day, got up here this uh, early today, and waiting on the Lord. So I get up here, y'all. Uh, I get up here, I go in there, check in, let them know I'm here. You know, um, they said they had, um, they had a load, y'all. I had a load. I right? I had a load. All right, but CBT. All right, and y'all can say what y'all wanna say. You know, hey, y'all can say, look, you ain't no real trucker. You ain't, right, look, but look, I don't care what you say, all right? So, the load picked up, I think it picked up the day or whatever, the night. It was a built run, all right? That goes up to, all the way up there, she said, I forgot the name of it, but she, she just said it was like, this say Denver, Colorado. Well, Denver, Colorado. Hold that thought. I said I'll let you know. Oh whatever. I said, well, it, it big. it's a good run, you know, it just it's a round trip, drop and hook on both ends. Alright. It was on both ends. Um, so I said, okay, well, hold that thought. 
Don't send it to me yet or whatever. Let me um do my research. Cause y'all say I always do my research. I do my trip. I, I I see where I'm going, see what it's like out there. And so I get on my phone, look at the check the weather, look at the roll condition, and devil post the snow five days straight. Alright. Albuquerque, New Mexico, all that ain't never snow. Alright. Temperature is like 25 degrees. Alright? And then you want me to go up I-25. Alright? Remind you, I'm in Clover, New Mexico. So I would have to go go up and hit I-25 and take I-25 all the way up to Denver. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Uh-uh. I don't want it. Nah, that's alright. That's okay. That's okay. You know, like I said, I know y'all gonna bash me in the comments. I know. I know, but y'all, like I told y'all in my previous videos or whatever, it just certain stuff that I don't I don't do no more. Alright? That just me. And Indian River understand that. You know what I'm saying? Cause in day, y'all, my whole career been old to y'all. I don't been up there so many times. Throughout my career, in the winter, I don't been in the blizzards. I don't been on the snow. I don't been on the ice. I don't been on all of that. All right, and it's to me, I don't want to deal with it no more. All right, I really don't, cause you know you just got these drivers out here driving so crazy right now that you got the the new uh the new the new drivers coming in, you know. And th this ain't no shade. This ain't bashing nobody. But, you know, it just, I see so many accidents and it's following too close. Just, it make you don't want to go right there. Even though they do it all in the south and that way else. But, you know, but they doing that there on the ice, on the snow. They doing it every day. You know what I'm saying? I'm not finna put myself in harm's way. I'm not, y'all. You know, so y'all can say what you want to say. I'm not going to do it. So, I said, no, nah, I ain't going to take that because, you know, uh, and then I would have to run it at night. It was going to be a night run. Oh, no. <laughs> no. No, nah, I wasn't going to do that, y'all. I wasn't going to do that. So I said, well, I just wait uh, for something else to come up because, you know, I'm, I'm not putting myself in that situation, all right, and get stuck up there and roll with clothes. And now I'm stuck up there in Denver. And everybody know how Denver is. If you're a truck and you've been out here for a while, you've been in Denver in the winter, you know how I get out there, all right? It is a mess. So, I didn't take that run. So now, I'm, so now I'm just sitting here. All right, I'm just sitting here. And uh, Chris called me. Shout out, big shout out to Chris. You know what I'm saying? It's safe there or whatever. Which he do, he does the orientation for Indian River. So if you come to, if you come to Indian River and got to take orientation, you the one gonna be doing your orientation, your orientation or whatever. So big shout out to Chris, man. Chris, my guy. All right, Chris. Uh, Chris, Nate, uh, Zach, Daniel, Donna, you know, Bill, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I can't think of his name. I cannot think of his name. Uh, uh, he's on night. So he's, he's a nighttime dispatcher. All right. Real cool guy. He called me up the first thing. He said, yes, sir. So I know he's going to watch this video. So it ain't like every time he called me, the first thing he say is, Mr. Yes, sir. You know, even Chris in safety, he'll tell you, yes, sir. We're going on CBT. You know what I'm saying? And that, y'all, that's one thing I like about Indian River, y'all. Once you get to know them and you know, communicate with them, whatever, they it's a good family orange, orange, family orange here, y'all. I'm telling you, it's very family orange. You're just not gonna be a number of you. All right, if you're a hard worker and you do what you're supposed to do, you know what I'm saying. You will have a blast over here, all right? Everybody cool, everybody nice. You can go talk to anybody you want to talk to. You know what I'm saying? So it is a good family orange. Like even though in here, Stephanie, shout out to Stephanie in Clover, New Mexico. Great. I love Stephanie, all right? Uh, Ken, up there in uh, Ben Salem. Shout out, now that's my road dog though. You know, he used to drive a truck, but you know, he the office dog, so big shout out to Ken. Uh, 
uh, what's the name? Down there in uh, Mission, Texas. Is it Orlando? No, Orlando. Uh, I can't think of name, but he dispatched down there in Mission, Texas. Shout out to him, too, because he all, uh, look, I, every time I call him, if you got some, hey, Bobby, or uh, CBT, hey, I, I got some. You know what I'm saying? So, that's what I say, man, no matter where I go, no matter what terminal I go to, it always a good vibe, all right? I can go in and talk to anybody, talk to whoever I want to talk to, it's just good vibe, man. And that's what I like about over here. You know what I'm saying? You can't beat that. You know what I'm saying? Good vibe, you making good money, you are um, great home time, great equipment, you know what I'm saying? What's not the love? You know, I know some of y'all be like, man, you, you, my company pays 65, 6, uh, 70 cent a mile. Okay, cool. That I salute to you, okay? You know, I don't want to work over there where you want to work. I don't want to go where you want to go or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I go what's work for me. All right? And how they going to treat me? And in the river treat me very, very well, y'all. I'm talking about magnificent. All right? You know, because of my work ethic. All right, and I'm gonna always say that because it's always gonna be my work ethic shows a lot. All right, so I just love it over here. I love it. I love it. And if you decide to come over here, you I'm telling you now, you will love it too. And I'm not trying to make you come up. I'm not trying to get you to come over here. I'm just saying if you decide to come over here, do your do your research, do your homework. If other companies out here, you know what I'm saying. But hey, you want to check out Indian River? Hey, <laughs> hey, hit them up. Hit up recruiting. You know what I'm saying? Because we booming right now, especially with pump load from the Midwest going west. All right, we got a bunch of that. We got a bunch of East Coast. We got a, everywhere we, we booming right now. All right, we booming. So, and that's one thing I like about it. They keep us moving. We ain't got to beg for no mile. We don't have to do none of that. All right. Um, shout out to my, my previous trainee, y'all. Look, <laughs> that's my guy, y'all. That, 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 that's my guy. All right. Uh, I talked to him today, helped him out with a couple things, you know what I'm saying? And like I said, I'm not one of them, I'm, I'm not one of the trainers that once you get off my truck, oh, that's it, all right? I don't want to fool with you no more. I don't want to talk to you no more. No, you can call me anytime. Well, I prefer you text me first and see like, hey, CBT, you up? I got a question. Can you, then I call you, all right? But if you know, if it gets an emergency, I don't mind you calling me, all right? And so he called me. I've been helping him my all day. All right, you know what I'm saying? With some stuff, with some minor stuff, you know what I'm saying? And hey, he good. You know, he matter of fact, he doing the same run I did when I before I went home uh, from uh, Winter Haven, not Winter Lake Wells up to Aiden. Uh, you might want to say Asheville, North Carolina. We take OJ up there, drop and hook. All right, so um, but shout out to him, man. Uh, a big shout. Hey, not a shout out to you. Let me tell you something. If y'all don't think I'm lying. If y'all think I'm lying about these video, about the miles, the pay, the home time, the people over here in the river, go to, get on YouTube, all right? You see y'all on YouTube, go type in Swamp Man, all right? Big shout out to Swamp Man. That's my brother from another mother, all right? That is my brother from another mother. And me and Swamp Man talked yesterday, well, yesterday? I think it was yesterday for three hours, all right? Just chopping it up, just having conversation, all right? Everybody said three hours? Three hours, y'all. Over three hours. Talking, just having good conversation. You know what I'm saying? You know, I don't mind talking on the phone to somebody that can hold a conversation that's not boring. Somebody who entertain. And Swamp Man, y'all, let me tell you, Swamp Man crazy, all right? I'm going to tell you now, he crazy. Y'all think CBT crazy? No, that, that Swamp Man? Hey, they call him Swamp Man for a reason, all right? Tell you that, go check him out on YouTube, y'all. He do videos on Indian River also. He can bag up everything that I'm telling y'all, all right? How it is over here, Indian River, all right? So go show him some love, you know what I'm saying? Go check him out, go tell him CBT, put, go in the comments, say CBT, you know what I'm saying, told me about you or whatever, what, what, CBT, hey. I'm checking you out. Go over there and show us some love, all right? Because at the end of the day, we all out here to help one another. And if anything I can do to help one of y'all or y'all have any questions y'all want to know or 
just hit up, hit me in the comments, you know what I'm saying? And I'll answer your question. You know, I don't have no problem. As long as it ain't no crazy question or me showing my check stuff. That's it. All right? I'm not doing all that. All right? Because I don't want you basing your, you coming over here on my check stuff. And if you get over here and you don't make what I make it, now you mad. All right? So, but you don't run like me. I don't run like you. I don't know how you run. You don't know how I run. Well, I'll show y'all how I run. Y'all know how I get down. You know what I'm saying? So, but anyway, so... I'm like I said, I'm in Clovis, New Mexico. Now, it's Chris, like I said, Chris called me, y'all. Hey, CBT, what are you doing tomorrow? Now, remind you, Chris is in Winter Haven, all right? I'm in New Mexico. I said, um, how you doing? I don't know yet, you know what I'm saying? They waiting for them to give me a load of something. He said, well, don't go nowhere, all right? What you mean? What you mean don't go nowhere? Um, I got a trainee. We gonna fly him out there to you. Literally, y'all. They flying him out here. Well, they flying him to Lubbock, Texas. All right, to the airport. So I'm gonna go down there. I got a um, it's something a deadhead order to go to Lubbock, Texas tomorrow. They get plane get in at one some tomorrow, one o'clock in the evening tomorrow. So. I'm gonna leave in the morning, shoot down to Lubbock, and pick him up. And I'm, I'm gonna go to the Love down the road, and he's gonna take an Uber to the truck stop, all right? So I'm gonna have a trainee. I'm still training, all right? Got another trainee. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm excited, you know what I'm saying? And like I say, y'all, I'm, I'm, I'm here to help, okay? I'm not here just because I'm making a couple of some, some extra money off of you. No, I generally wanna help you. You know what I'm saying? Learn this type of stuff. If you want to get into tanking, that is my job to teach you. You know what I'm saying? So if anybody want to want want to learn how to get into tanking, need training, need some spirit. Look, if I'm available, I will surely help you. I don't have no problem. Long as as long as you're not a woman, all right? I'm not training women. I don't do that. I don't train women, all because you know what I'm saying I'm married and I don't want that. I don't want that. You know what I'm saying? Attention. Okay? So, um, other than that, we good. We good. So, I'm going to pick them up tomorrow. So, right now, I'm going to get ready to uh, clean up, which is already pretty clean. But I do, I, like I said, I'm, I'm very clean. I'm not no nasty person. I don't do that. You know what I'm saying? And that's like the first thing I tell my, train, my trainee or whatever. Look. We gonna be clean. We gonna ride clean. We gonna look clean going down the road. Well, besides right now, it ain't too clean right now on the outside. But the inside gonna look clean. It gonna smell clean. All right. That's my number one rule. All right. So I said I'm very excited. I can't wait to get near my next training. We gonna look. We gonna get to it. All right. Same as my last training. We gonna get to it. You know, cause in the other day I don't want I don't want you to get out here and fail. All right. I'm gonna do what I need to do to make sure you get what you need to know before you get off my truck, all right? I make I teach you everything because I want to get you for 60 hours. You can't learn everything in 60 hours. There's some things you're going to have to learn on your own, all right? But I'm going to give you, I'm going to pack as much as I can into your brain, all right? So you just got to be willing to learn, all right? As long as you're willing to learn, I can work with you. If you ain't willing to learn, you all about the drama, you all, you all about the attitude, you with all that, look, don't come on my truck, all right? I'm not, I, I don't know that because as y'all know, if, if y'all people who didn't know or whatever, I am, you know, I I don't talk about it because, you know, I don't know people's religion and all that, but as y'all know, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get ready to be ordained to be a deacon in the church, all right? So that's why I always have this, all right? I always had this, I'm always in this. That's my trainee, that's trainee. When he's driving, if, you know, I'm he good. I'm always in this, y'all, because you know it don't brought me out of, of a bad place in my life, okay. And I'm not gonna get spiritual on y'all. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do all that, all right. But just know that book and started going to church and getting my life together, and that's how I became who I am today, all right. Because I ain't gonna lie to you, I was going down the wrong path. I didn't kill and all that, but hey. I changed my life, all right? So, when, just like all the profanity, the 
cussing and you yeah, was that the same thing. You know what I'm saying? All that negativity and all that. I don't I don't be around all that. Alright? I don't. So you know, I'm 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 trying to live right. I'm not I'm not perfect. I'm still, you know what I'm saying? I'm still gonna see I'm still gonna but you know, but um I'm just trying to live right and trying to help as many people as I can. You know what I'm saying? I don't I don't hate nobody. I love everybody. Okay? I love everybody. I don't care what color you is. I don't care what race or uh, whatever. You know what I'm saying? You're a human just like I'm a human. At the end of the day, we all bleed the same color. You know what I'm saying? We all bleed the same color. All right? So, I love everybody. Y'all my brothers and sisters. Okay? Y'all my brothers and sisters. And I love you. Whether you hate CBT, CBT love you. All right? So, you all, you don't feel like nobody don't love you? Look, CBT love you. Okay? CBT love you. So, um, I was going to show y'all a video. I was going to put on the camera about this. Uh, I may go do it. I may not. But it'll be at the end of this video if I decide to put it in there to show y'all the truck that. That truck went here last time I was up here. So, it must have just happened not too long ago. Uh, one of our trucks. Uh, I think it like flipped over or something, but it is destroyed. Total, it's, it's destroyed. You know, I said, I don't know what happened, but it's bad. All right, it's, it, 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 it's, it's bad. So, but though I say, y'all, y'all know it's winter time. Winter is here. Well, it's fall, but y'all know the Northwest, fall is like winter. All right, fall is like winter up there. And I've been seeing a lot of accidents, seeing a lot of icy road. Like we get messages already. I ate it shut down. Uh, you know, so y'all please be careful, be safe, watch your following distance, y'all. If you don't do, do that now, watch your following distance. Make sure you get there and do them pre-trip, do them post-trip, all right? Do your trip plan and all that, all right? Get everything you need. Get, keep some animal free, keep you some um uh windshield like a fluid all right or alcohol all right all that type of stuff keep that stuff in your truck because you never know when you're gonna need it all right keep the food on your truck keep you some water on your truck fast like like the only thing you need to have on this truck because you never know when you if you may get stuck on the interstate because the road shut down and you can't get up at least you do have some food and water all right so and keep fuels in your truck all right if you can, keep fuel in your truck. Like I said, in case you do get stuck on the road, you won't be able to out on fuel. I don't let mine, usually time, like like sometimes they get down to a quarter tank, but in the winter time, I try to stay up, or fall in the winter, I try to stay above a half a tank, all right? So in case I do get stuck out here on the road, I have some fuel, okay? It get cold, and you're gonna need some heat, and you don't wanna be in the truck, and you don't be on frozen death, all right? So always make sure you keep fuel and death in your truck in the winter time. So in case something happens, all right? Um, so because I want y'all to be safe out here. I want y'all to make it back to y'all family the same way I want to make it back to my family. All right. So, but we, us, us as drivers, class A drivers, professional drivers, if hot shot drivers, I don't care. All right. If you out here in the interstate moving freight across the country or whatever, look, do your part. All right. Be safe. And watch the following distance. I can't explain that enough because that's like the number one cause. That's like the number one that you see out here is following too close accidents. All right. So please, y'all, watch the following distance. Uh, um, I think that's about it, y'all. I, I ain't ain't trying to make this video too long. I think I'm already at 20, I want 25 minutes. Uh, so if I do put that clip in there, that truck over there. It'll be at the end of the clip, end of the video. I'll probably throw a little clip in there, but uh, y'all just be safe out here, man. Y'all just be safe. And like I said, I love each and every last one of y'all. And if y'all have any questions about uh, Indian River or whatever, just leave them down in the comments. If you want my email, if you want, you want to ask me something personally or whatever, you want my email address, I uh, just ask me for my email and I and I give it to you. You know, I don't mind. I check my emails too. So you need to know about the training or anything, just let me know in the comment. And I can set I can set it up with Chris and when I become available, hey, I can train you. 
right? I really love training. And I say because I really love helping people, all right? You ain't going to find too many trainers like CBT, all right? We going to get down. We going to have a lot of fun, all right? It's going to be good vibes over here. It's all good vibes over here. You know what I'm saying? Because I love what I do. And I take my job very seriously, all right? Very serious. I take my job very serious, all right? I don't, I'm not out here to play around. I'm not out here to get nobody hurt. None of that, all right? So, all right, y'all. Thank y'all for watching this video. Make sure y'all smash that like button. Make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. If you're not, I don't know what you're doing. I don't know where you, you know what I'm saying. You, we like CBT where you're on the post twice a month, okay? I mean, I'm just saying. But I am going to get back on track. I am going to start getting some more videos in. I'm, I'm, I'm trying, y'all. I'm trying. All right, but you know the holidays coming up, so I'm not going back home till Thanksgiving. I'm gonna hold Thanksgiving. I, I don't miss Thanksgiving. I don't miss Christmas. All right, those two holidays I don't miss. I can miss any other any other one on, but Thanksgiving and Christmas is my family time. Where all my family come down because I'm a big family person and I love being around my family. So, um, uh, that's it. So anyway, y'all, it's your boy Man Country Boy talking about it straight out of two two nine. Y'all already know what. Uh, Y'all know what? Uh. Y'all know what? Uh. Don't get tired. Yes, sir.